Ladies and gentlemen, big news today in the bicycle world. SRAM has released some new stuff and updates to their GX, X01, and XX1 Eagle drivetrains. And in this video, we're gonna talk all about the new stuff and the compatibility and everything you need to know. Well, I don't think SRAM Eagle needs any introduction. It's their premier 12-speed drivetrain that is on mountain bikes all over the world right now. Uh, there's five different variants of it. SX, NX, GX, X01, and XX1. Uh, today, there's gonna be some revisions just to GX, X01, and XX1, and they're pretty cool. So SRAM has continuously pushed the limits when it comes to drivetrain technology, and today, sort of the big news across those top three uh, variants of the Eagle drivetrains is the cassette and the gear range there. So it's previously been a 500% gear range, meaning your small cog is 10 tooth and your large cog is 50 tooth. Well, now it goes up to a 50 two tooth, so it's a 520% gear range across the GX, X01, and XX1 cassettes now. So pretty cool stuff there. A lot of new colors, X01 and XX1, um, those got most just color revisions, which look really cool, and of course the cassettes. The big news is GX, that got a lot more revisions in terms of aesthetics and material changes and all that sort of stuff. And so to dive into GX, but before we get there, look at that copper, how sweet is that? GX Eagle is probably the most popular and most common of all of the Eagle variants in terms of their drivetrains, and that's the one that got the most revisions. So they didn't change any of the prices. So I applaud you, SRAM. Uh, everyone really appreciates that in the mountain bike community when everything just gets better and nicer and the prices stay exactly the same. The one thing that they do offer now, GX historically used to only have an aluminum crank, now they do offer a carbon crank. So before, a GX five-piece group set would run you 545 bucks, and it still does. If you now go with the carbon GX crank, it'll run you 685 bucks. So 685 bucks for a carbon crank with the chain ring, whole five-piece group set, 12-speed, 520% gear range, SRAM's, SRAM's coming in swinging with a really good price point and a really good product there with the alloy cranks and the carbon cranks for GX. So definitely really impressive stuff. The alloy cranks look really nice, huge revision in terms of aesthetics and performance and weight and everything. Same with the derailleur, the materials, the shape, the overall aesthetics, the graphics, everything changed on GX and it looks way nicer and feels way nicer. So expect from us a long-term review on that sort of stuff once we get our hands on it and get to ride it for a long period of time. We also made a video a year ago where we compared NX, GX, X01, and XX1 all together. Um, we're now gonna do another one of those. Another one. Where we add in SX and we also add in Access and kind of compare all of these things together because it is confusing. Obviously, you know, you know, SX is your least expensive and XX1 Access is your most expensive, but trying to quantify the exact little intricate differences in weight and performance and features between all the individual group sets is pretty tough. So we are gonna make a video comparing all of those soon. Uh, basically a revised one to the one we did a year ago now that all the new SRAM drivetrain stuff is out in the wild. So expect that to come. Um, GX, once again, kind of sits right in the middle there and it's the most popular, so it's really cool to see that get the most revisions and this stuff looks amazing, so let's take a look at some of it. Another thing SRAM wants to focus on with all of this GX, X01, and XX1 drivetrain stuff is the compatibility with e-bikes now. So e-bikes are obviously becoming a lot more common all around the world, especially in the mountain bike scene, and SRAM has certified and, and guaranteed all of their Eagle drivetrains to be e-bike compatible 
with one caveat, it does need to use the single click shifter. What a single click shifter is, is basically your thumb paddle that you can crank a whole bunch of gears in to put yourself into an easier gear on a regular drivetrain. I think there's like five clicks you can get through that thing, but with the single click ones, there's a single click. So if you use the single click shifter, um, it, all this Eagle stuff is compatible and under warranty and totally usable on your e-bike. So why they did that? So the E-bikes, because of the motor, are obviously putting a lot more strain on the chain and derailleur and cassette when you're pedaling under load. So there's just more things that can go wrong when there's that much pressure there. So kind of limiting that shifter to only have a single click is what's gonna allow it to um, basically maintain and, and sustain itself under the load that you might see with an e-bike. So just important stuff there. If you do have an e-mountain bike and you wanted a good SRAM Eagle drivetrain, now you got single click shifters on there and it's all certified e-bike compatible and all under SRAM's warranty as long as you have an e-bike and use the single click shifter. Well, with all this good news, there is a little bit of kind of bad news. Compatibility with existing stuff. So here's the deal. The three new cassette offerings that have the 52 tooth, so that 520% gear range that are being released today, those are not compatible with existing mechanical Eagle rear derailleurs. They are compatible with existing Eagle Access electronic rear derailleurs. So that also means that, you know, there is new derailleurs that come along with this that now have stamped on the inside of the cage 520%, which signifies that this, this uh, rear derailleur is compatible with the 520% gear range cassettes. It also, of course, does work with the, so this is backwards compatible. The 520% ones will work with your, you know, if you wanna want, want to run a 1050 cassette, um, but your existing derailleur you have right now, if it's a mechanical Eagle one, they claim is not compatible with the new 52 tooth um, cassette. Kind of a bummer there. This is a bummer, man. That's, uh, that's a bummer. Because that means if you have an existing, you know, mechanical Eagle drivetrain of any variant right now and you wanted to just upgrade the cassette to get the additional range, you kind of can't. So here's the deal. SRAM says it's not compatible because they did have to change sort of where these um, where the pulleys sit and just like the, the whole triangulation of the derailleur, they had to engineer it a little bit to, to make it compatible with that larger 52 tooth cassette cog. What they say is that it's, you know, doesn't shift as smooth as they would like um, if you use the existing ones on, on the existing mechanical eel derailleurs on the new 52 tooth cassettes. They don't like the, you know, the shifting performance there, so therefore they say it's not compatible. Of course, everyone's probably gonna wanna try that. So we tried to get a step, of the, step ahead of the game here and actually did that ourselves. So we took an existing mechanical Eagle derailleur and put it with a 10 to 52 tooth cassette, which it's supposed to not be compatible and shifted it around in the stand and rode it around a little bit and it works fine. It's not as smooth as the 50 tooth on there. It's not as smooth as the access shifts with the 52 tooth. Um, and the caveat is that if you do that, it's not covered under warranty then. So SRAM really does want you, if you're gonna get the 520% cassette, they want you to get the 520% rear derailleur with it. So that's the deal there. Can you sneak a cassette in there on your old existing mechanical derailleur? Yes, but then you void the warranty and it's not gonna shift quite as buttery smooth as you know you might expect and as SRAM wants it to. So that's kind of the bad news there. I mean, my thought there is it, it, it's understandable why they did that. You know, they're, they're trying to extend the range on these cassettes and, and make them, you know, just have more range for you. So they're more practical to use on more applications and stuff. And in order to do that, you're gonna have to modify the derailleur and that's how it goes. So if it was me, if I'm, I'm just gonna beat my existing Eagle drivetrain into the dust and then I'll upgrade the rear derailleur and the cassette and the chain all, all at the same time. So that's the compatibility issues between it. But all the stuff is still compatible within itself, right? So all the new um, GX, X01 and uh, XX1, all that stuff's all cross compatible. So if you wanted to get a 520% GX cassette with an XX1 crank and an X01 shifter and derailleur, that's all cross compatible. So that stuff's all, you know, sort of forward compatible with each other. But yeah, that's kind of the downside right here with the compatibility.
So to sum up GX, X01, XX1, they all now have 520% gear range on the cassette with that 52 tooth largest cog, which is really cool. Um, X01 and XX1 mostly just got some really cool new colorways and they all actually kind of mesh together now. They wanted to have this more unified color system so you could mix and match things and it would all kind of look good together. So hopefully you've seen throughout the video some of that stuff. There is gonna be, as usual, an article that accompanies this video in the uh, description below that that will have all sorts of pictures and details and specs and prices and everything. No prices have changed across the board um, for any of these uh, three variants. The only new thing there is that GX now has a new carbon crank offering, which is 275 bucks, which is a really good price for a crank, including a chain ring. Um, Biggest news in this whole thing is GX, right? It dramatically changed in terms of aesthetics and performance and, and weight and all of that sort of stuff. So, which is really cool because GX is the most popular one. So it's great to see some huge revisions there. Um, E-bike single click shifters, don't forget that. Don't forget the uh, lack of compatibility if you have an existing Eagle mechanical derailleur right now, not compatible with the new 52 tooth um, cassette. So if you're gonna upgrade, you're gonna have to get a cassette and a derailleur and well a chain because you got to extend the chain to be longer too. So that's what's happening in the world of SRAM drivetrains. There's also a new chain gap tool which is unified to work with all the different ones in the 50 tooth and the 52 tooth but uh, I think that'll be included in a lot of the, the purchases when you're buying the, the Eagle components so you can get the thing adjusted properly. Um, that's it for today. Let us know down in the comments what do you guys think about all this new SRAM Eagle stuff. Stay tuned for an in-depth review on the GX drivetrain from us and also a revised SRAM Eagle comparison video where we're going to compare all the different variations of Eagle drivetrains. Hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.